It's been a while since I heard that song. The Roaring Twenties, everyone. It was 1929. Can you believe that? And I like listening to a lot of these uh, classics. I keep that going I, it, when I'm reloading ammo and things like that. Well, welcome back to SOS. I'm Staff Sergeant BA. And normally I make a video like this for Patreon. And I'm not doing that today because uh, the Spirit prompted me today to make a video for everyone and I wanted all of you to be able to hear what I have to say and you some of you might not have heard and I know a few of you were concerned but we did have a fire at the house and it was in our kitchen and I uh, couldn't do the live stream yesterday because we were dealing with that all through the night and it was pretty late when we finally finished but uh, let's just say, all right, so we had an electrical fire uh, involving our oven and um, electricity mixed with a little bit of hot grease. And, well, <laughs> any of you that know fires know that that can get pretty extreme pretty quick and uh, coming from the oven. <laughs> so uh, Sippy Cup is not, uh, she's more of a medic than a firefighter. She's not really a firefighter. And, uh, of course, I've, I've had shipboard firefighting. I've spent three years at sea. You know, every time we would deploy, I had to do uh, a requalification in certain things, and that would involve shipboard firefighting. And a lot of my shipmates out there probably know exactly what I'm talking about, and I'm going to get into classes like that involving firefighting and how-tos and into firefighting as we go on. But uh, the... So I, so basically, you know, a, a cry for help with the kitchen, and uh, it looked like a, a, a flaming welder going off, and the um, the wife was yelling, you know, for me to come in there, and the kids were freaking out and everything, and and uh, I I ran in there and uh, flipped the breakers and uh, extinguished the fire and everything, so it it didn't want to die. It, <laughs> even even when it's away from the wall and still detached it still just does not want to die and uh, I'll get into some firefighting stuff because I think it's going to be important in the future and uh, SHTF related stuff I think it's very important uh, I just got back from church okay I just I just got back from church and uh, last night I uh, we were very fortunate to find a uh, a replacement oven, we got everything cleaned up, and we found a replacement oven. It was a used salvage yard oven, and it was three hundred bucks, and that was a lot cheaper. We couldn't afford. We we've, we've just you know we've had to replace a dryer, and and you know it. We just can't afford to to spend tons of money on you know fancy appliances or anything. So we went with a used uh, a used oven. And once again, just like the other one, right? So we've got the new one in and, well, <laughs> used one in and it works fine. So and everything's back to normal again here at the house. So that's good. And, you know, you, <laughs> you got to sit back and feel like, oh, thank goodness. You know, I, I didn't know how to deal with that, you know, last night. It's like I was looking at the oven. I'm like, how how am I going to replace this now? I, we can't afford to keep doing this. This is, you know, this, this house is costing, you know, too much to, um, to us. It's too much uh, ridiculousness that goes on here. And, uh, but anyways, on a sidebar. So I just figured I'd give you guys an update on that. And, uh, I just got back from church and there was, uh, there was a speaker giving a talk and, I thought that uh, I thought that was really moving, and I wanted to share that with you guys today. And so I'm basically uh, going to just repeat what I heard. But uh, I think it would be good for a lot of folks to hear this. And it's it has a lot to do with prayer. And I know a lot of you have different faiths. You know, you you all. Uh, come from different backgrounds and different religions and things. So this isn't to to push anything on any of you. This is just me talking. And if you like to hear this, then 
uh, go ahead and listen. If not, turn it off. So it's that easy. But I'm sitting there in church and I'm listening to the speaker talk and and the um, the uh, conversation was about prayer and feeling the spirit and uh, the overwhelming feeling of the spirit in certain moments of life and this lady uh, went on to tell a story of another gal that was going into a grocery store and she could see a homeless man outside and you could just see the top of his head he's wrapped up in blankets it's cold and uh, you know, we're in a really cold area here now uh, with the temperature dropping but it was really cold and she she felt like doing something she felt the spirit and felt like doing something for this man that was outside so she went inside and she she could smell the uh, fresh cooked fried chicken in the back and at the uh, uh, at the food court and looked good smelled good and she's she's thinking you know I, I bet you he could use some fried chicken today and she prayed kind of prayed about it and spirit said no don't get the fried chicken you know she didn't get the feeling to get the fried chicken but she wanted to get the fried chicken but the feeling was it to get the fried chicken so she kept shopping I'm gonna get some things that he needs I bet you he could use some lip balm you know and a few other things and she went through there got some foot powder and, and stuff like that some some items for him and she came back around and she could smell the chicken again and and she's like no oh, he doesn't need chicken he needs this so she went on and got the items and walked outside to the man and says I've got some items mister I'd, I'd like for you to have and and he's you know, thank you and you know I really needed this and and then uh, another lady walks up and uh, yells mister it's your lucky day. I've got you some fresh fried chicken. <laughs> so you kind of see how that works. <laughs> it's really funny. There's another uh, story from the speaker that was, that was, uh, I, it kind of touched me and, and uh, it, it reminds me of uh, a couple of friends I've lost along the way. And, but I don't, I don't sit and, try and uh, dwell on these things and retell stories you know it you know this goes back to the video I made this is my Bible this goes back to you know the I don't think I've told you this story before video you know and things like that I'll I'll put links to those below if you guys want to watch them they're demonetized because it's this one's gonna get demonetized too I, I don't really care uh, I just want people to hear this All right. but the other one that she said was, uh, she was a lady from the church was uh, sitting there and, and she had this feeling come over. And she said, uh, I remember so-and-so. And I haven't seen her in a while. So she's become inactive. She's not an active member of the church. And she got to thinking about it and said, I need to pay her a visit. This overwhelming feeling, this overwhelming feeling came over. She said, I need to go check on this person that something's not right. And uh, she went to her house and, and uh, the spirit prompted her to, to pound on the door. And when she didn't get an answer, the spirit prompted her to stay there and pound on that door. And then eventually the door opened and it was a lady inside and said, I'm glad you're here because a few minutes later I wouldn't be here she had a loaded gun in the house and and she was gonna take her own life there's sorry sorry it just it it reminds me of of um, of stories of my own that have affected and changed my life and and you know, we have to stop every now and then. So for some of you out there, I'm a Christian. I call myself that. And you know what? For some of you folks out there, uh, it's it's important that we focus and uh, 
uh, stay positive and try to help others as much as we can. And if you get that feeling, if that feeling, you know, for unusual reasons comes over a lot of us and some people will pay it no mind or uh, believe it or not, you know, inactive or active people out there that actively involved in church or not it does not matter that spirit can come and and you'll get a feeling to contact an old buddy you know uh, an old battle buddy or something a friend you served with or I know a lot of veterans are watching this and it's important that I get that message out to them because there are people that uh, that do need help they don't under, you know they they can't, they, this is a cry for help, like a cry for a medic, right? So, uh, there are people out there that, that really, uh, need to look out for one another, right? And that's the, that's the importance of this. And pay attention to that feeling, that gut feeling that you get, because it could be coming from someplace else. And that's probably the most important thing for me to say to you right now. But uh, uh, that's all I got. But I wanted to share this with you guys today. I want you to have a wonderful, fabulous day. <laughs> Rainbows and unicorns. Uh, God bless you guys and gals, and take care.